Hi everyone, welcome back to another Match Day vlog. As you can see, rainbow shower. Warsaw. We are in the capital city of Warsaw and we're going to a match of Legia Warsaw. Uh, it's been a while, nine months if I remember correctly. I think the last time was against Lech Poznan for this weekend. We're doing a different friendship. That's why we're here, Legia Warsaw and they're playing against their friends if i remember correctly the friendship was made official in 2017 and since then you know both sides are visiting each other's games and the matches between them are always good atmosphere i'm curious to see if legia manager gonzalo feo will behave himself today the man is under attack from journalists media uefa but you can see that there's a lot of stress building up for him even though the results are not that bad. In Europa, they are through to the playoff phase and they're playing against Drita from Albania, Kosovo? It was Kosovo, uh, which is doable. So that's definitely a group stage or the league stage actually now this year. And traditionally with Polish teams, when there is European qualifying, that has a higher priority than the league. So almost all teams lose points. So in my opinion, these added stress, these added arguments to him, to his position, are a bit unfair. Give him time. For Radom, it's a different story. Uh, after their win against GKS Katowice, they've lost so far every other game. But if you watch their games, they actually don't play that bad. Uh, they create a lot of chances. They're just very unlucky. <laughs> Not going to lie, I'm liking the 90s uh, retro shirts. Uh, I think more clubs should do those. So this bad boy came down to 36 with the drink. Uh, the sausage itself is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, 32 and a half. So it's pricey. It has some weight to it. Okay, it's not bad. I'm giving it a um, 7.2. I think that's a good one.
Legia 2-0 ahead. Uh, first 15, 20 minutes was all Legia. Uh, but then they had only got a couple of chances. And Legia got a VAR call for a penalty. So I have to watch the highlights to see what happened. Because I kind of missed it because it was a shot off the wall, I think. But the 2-0 was a very nice goal through the middle from uh, Kapuska. Well, let's see what Radon can do in the second half. Because they're, again, unlucky. Radon tried in the second half. I mean, they scored a goal, but they also were close to a couple of goals. But yeah, again, penalty given easily. And then uh, Radon was giving away too much space because we were chasing goals. So Ubwanski was able to manage to get a goal from outside the box. It was a nice play shot. But with that win, Lega is virtually first place at the moment. Uh, but later tonight, maybe Rakov or Gornik could join them. But maybe with this win, uh, the pressure on Gonzalo Ferreira will temper down because these are distractions that Legia don't need. That was it for round five. Next weekend, of, at the moment, I only have one game planned because they moved Geke Jagalonia to Sunday and then I'm recording somewhere else. But as always, thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe. You know what to do. I will see each other next weekend for round six. Bye bye.